Well, this week we are paying tribute to our colleague and good friend Ken Bastida. Back in 2002, Ken and his crew covered the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, which escalated during the second intifada. Following a suicide bombing, the Israelis mounted a large-scale military operation in the West Bank. Here's an excerpt from his Emmy Award-winning series. No one passes through this checkpoint without permission from the Israeli Defense Forces. As journalists from the United States, we get that permission and a stern warning. The occupied territories are dangerous. This is the middle of Ramallah. Normally there are thousands of people, shopkeepers, business people, homeowners coming down to do their shopping. They have been ordered off the streets and into their homes. The only movement on the streets of Ramallah this day are the Israeli armored personnel carriers and the imposing Merkava M1 tanks on patrol for Palestinian snipers violating the curfew. They spot us and make their presence known. Okay, no, 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 no. He's turning on us. All right, this tank now is rotating his gun turret right at us. So uh, I think that's probably a sign that we should uh, stop here. And uh, now we're back up. Let's. He's pointing right at us. Let's back up. That's cool, baby. Don't shoot. Classic Ken. It's cool, baby. Don't shoot. But you had to be well, sweating at that moment. I mean, you know, you go into that territory and you, 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 you know, you know what you're walking into. So you got to right. be careful and you take every precaution. The great part of these little vignettes that you guys have been do doing for me, are, it's a fantastic chance and opportunity for me to highlight the great people I work mm -hmm. with. Photographer there, Rick Villaroman. Risk his life on several trips we took to the yes. Middle East. Um, Peter Sayers, a producer who put that, speaks full Arabic and uh, was very helpful as well. Um, yeah, you know, what I'm left with after watching that is it's 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 sad that the mm -hmm. tension in that part of the world hasn't changed mm -hmm. since exactly 2002 when I was there. It's still um, a, still a conflict. Mm -hmm. and, and I remember you telling me stories about getting in and out of that area were especially treacherous. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I say, uh, there were, um, you know, uh, their version of IEDs mm -hmm. and bombs and uh, towns that have been attacked and, uh, you know, from both sides. Right. Um, so, um, yeah, an interesting experience. I'm glad I went. I got to see the town of Bethlehem from underneath a car as a firefight was going on up and down the street, but um, yeah, long time ago. We were in the middle of the conflict and we're so fortunate uh, to have that footage. In your I'm recording. so fortunate to have survived it. Yeah, we are too. Yeah. Well, we want to hear from you. If you have a favorite Ken Bastida memory or want to tease him a little bit, just post on social media using the hashtag KPIX.